Hey guys, Franco here with Franco Mobile Homes. Wanted to answer these questions that were asked. I guess the main, or the question number one was what makes a good or bad inspector? I think coming from a dealer standpoint or business owner or agent standpoint, um, convenience is a huge thing for us because all these agents, all they want to do is uh, sell, sell, sell and keep everything as smooth as possible. So convenience is key. I think that's also important when it comes to any consumer. So as with that said, um, sometimes in certain areas we have to work with inspectors where it's like the inspector asks us, hey, you know, we, our procedure is you leave a check uh, at the home um, to uh, to pay for to pay our inspector, but for us, it actually taking another an extra hour of our day just to get it pick up a check and then drop it off. That's that's time. Even though it's an hour, only an hour, it's time that could be saved if we had uh, some sort of online platform to make a payment or to even make an order. So I think it's important to have an organization that has a similar experience every time, a online experience where we can just book an appointment, we can expect to have an appointment within a few days, um, and we expect also great service um, and similar results every time. So that's something that would make a good inspector, a bad one is someone that I guess would um, have a lot of steps involved in whether it's getting a payment or um, or figuring out an appointment and a lot of back and forth. Uh, so it really helps as a business owner to have a vendor or a inspector that we know we can partner with long term and that we can have um, similar steps in mind. So um, full digital is important to us. Uh, easy to understand pricing is another one. We don't want to have to do an inspection and then the next time we do it, it it's a different price and we have to ask why and what's what's the matter. Um, so clear pricing um, and someone what's really important to us in the mobile home industry is someone that understands um, mobile homes and mobile home laws and, and codes. So we've dealt with an inspector recently where it was actually a really bad experience. It's a nationwide company. They didn't really change their procedure towards mobile homes. And there was a lot of stuff that showed up there that was actually false, um, where with old mobile homes, these things are grandfathered in, like um, egress windows that were built in the 70s. Um, and it, it almost lost us a deal. So I think that's being current with, with mobile home codes and stuff and knowing the differences between mobile homes and single family homes is a very key difference that we need to know. So number two is what do you need from a health and safety inspection? Um, what I love seeing on a health and safety inspection is clear photos and if you can have identical indicators like an arrow, a circle, uh, and that'll clearly be able to see what it is that we're looking at because sometimes we have inspections where it'll just say with no photos and it'll just talk. And we got to understand that whether it's our customers or us ourselves, if we all have different ways of understanding and different um, ways of learning. So some of us are very visual. Some of us are really good with words. Um, for me, I love seeing photos. I love seeing circles around it, arrows. And it just makes it so much easier to explain to our customers because what's communicated to us from the inspector, keep in mind, we have to understand that and then we have to portray that to the buyer or seller. So being very clear on the inspection of what these things are and what's recommended is key. Um, so another thing on, on a health and safety inspection that's important to us is how it's organized in the inspection because having a summary uh, or a breakdown or having um, a, a format to where you can really identify the most important information because um, sometimes you know there we have buyers which, which really don't care they're getting it at a great price they just want to know if there's any crazy anything crazy wrong and then 
for if we only have 20 minutes to review the inspection, then we want to know what are the most important things that we have to talk about. So sometimes as agents, we summarize. So we are only giving out the, what we feel is the most important information. So it's key to have an inspection that will identify that quickly for us. So for us as a business, we really deal with a lot of different components, um, whether it's hiring builders, contractors, um, and transaction coordinators, and um, transporters, whatever it is. So we always, any, you know, for, as a business owner, I feel like I would pay more for a company that understands our business and knows that we're busy and helps with steps that will allow us to be more efficient. Uh, because time is money, money's time, right? <laughs> so let's go to number three. What don't you like about inspections and how can they be better? Um, sometimes, what don't I like about inspections, Christina? Mm -hmm. Like you mentioned how like, sometimes they're not prepared going in and they're not, you know, having a reliable platform for us. Like you said, we don't, we don't like it when they just kind of hand make you leave paperwork out in the open that can lead to like a lot of Maybe there's um, situations with clients. Totally. Yeah, yeah good point. Um, yeah, I think one is the, what you mentioned, which is, um, um, wow, I just blanked out real quick. But um, one, one of the things too is, is <laughs> convenience. Um, I, I hate when, um, I think it just, it's, for any business, it's important to figure out a payment platform online. Um, whether it's online or taking a credit card over the phone. And when they don't have that, unfortunately, there are still people, companies that are out there that don't adapt. Uh, I think that's really important to have that. Um, and then also being clear with the inspection, uh, being clear that the inspection is for a mobile home and understanding the differences. Um, those are things that I didn't like. And what, what did you mention, Christina? I'm sorry, I'm, but basically when there's too many things on it that aren't relevant to the home or? Um, no, I would say like one of the negative things we say about inspectors are like people who don't get things done in a timely manner. Oh yes, and that's correct. And we have correct. to like wait around them and we have lots of other houses to deal with. So having to constantly push things back and push things back done from the inspector. Correct, so what Christina mentioned was inspectors that don't come on time or aren't reliable or um, timing is a huge one for us um, we our job as an agent or a dealer is to be very um, what's the word very prompt no Diligent. Diligent. well to, to be very professional with our time and um, and having an inspector come out when we tell the seller 4 p.m. and they come at 5 p.m., it makes us look bad. So we never want to work with the company that makes us look bad and comes late. Or, um, and then also timing on when we get the inspection is really important. So these are things that are important to us. Um, let's go to number four, which is how do inspectors fit into the bigger picture of manufactured housing sales? Um, I think the big thing is working together with companies and organizations that that are on the same mission of working with mobile homes and fixing affordable housing. I think um, the more we can work together, I think businesses can help each other. Um, so whether it's like eliminating steps, setting appointments, and the more, um, the more value add you can bring to a realtor or an agent, the more that an agent would be likely to work with you, and the more education you can bring um, to agents. I think education-based sales is something that's really kicking off now, and whether it's the content that's being created here, um, educating inspectors, but the same way backwards where inspectors can come and educate agents, uh, because we actually, you know, there's a lot of agents out there that don't know much about mobile homes. And the more we can learn, uh, the better we can help our clients. So um, that's important. Um, I think fitting into a better, bigger picture is 
a fully digital platform. I keep mentioning that, but that is important to us. Um, so yeah, that, hopefully that answers all four questions and uh, we will let us know if we can help anyhow and if this works. Later. Bye.